This video will cover the topic, graphing a square root function, problem type 2. So this topic is all about graphing square root functions? Exactly! This topic involves problems like this. Graph the function f of x equals the square root of x minus 1 plus 6. To do so, graph the leftmost point and three additional points. What do they mean by the leftmost point? That is a very important question. What they mean by the leftmost point is the lowest value of x that when input into the problem will still give us a real number. There are x values that won't give us real numbers? When we have a function that has a square root, there definitely is. Do you remember what type of numbers cannot have a square root? Um, oh wait, I remember from another video that they said something about negative numbers not being able to have a square root? You're totally right! So, what the question means by leftmost point is the lowest value of x can be that still keeps the number inside the square root symbol equal or greater than zero. Let's try to find out what that x value is for this function. We will ignore the plus six in the problem for now and just focus on what's inside our square root. So we're just focusing on the x minus one for now? Exactly! Now, do you remember what our value has to be to be able to find the square root? It has to be greater than or equal to zero, right? Yes, so let's write that out. Hey, now we can just isolate the x on one side, right? Yep. To do that, we can add 1 to both sides. And are left with x is greater than or equal to 1. That means that our x value for our leftmost point is 1? Precisely. Now that we have our x value, let's solve for f of 1. But before we do that, why don't we create a table to put all this information in? That sounds like a good idea with all the points we have to find. First, we plug in 1 for any x variables, and are left with f of 1 equals the square root of 1 minus 1 plus 6. 1 minus 1 equals 0, and the square root of 0 is 0, so doesn't f1 equal 6? You're correct, which makes our leftmost point 1 comma 6. We just have to choose 3 more points of the function to graph by choosing 3 more x values. Does it matter what x values we choose? That is an excellent question. As long as we don't choose an x value lower than our leftmost point's x value, you can technically choose whatever values you'd like. But when dealing with functions with square roots, it would take less time to choose x values that when plugged into the equation would be easy to find the square root of. Oh, so it would be better if we chose an x value like 2, because 2 minus 1 would be 1, and the square root of 1 is 1, and then 1 plus 6 is 7, like that? Exactly. Now, we can put our second point on our table. For our last two points, we can use x values 5 and 10. x equals 5, we plug in our x values and get the function f of 5 equals the square root of 5 minus 1 plus 6. We subtract 1 from 5 and get 4, which we know has a square root of 2. Add 6 to 2, and you get 8. So our points are 5, 8. And for the last point, you input 10 for the x's and get f of 10 equals square root of 10 minus 1 plus 6. 10 minus 1 equals 9, and the square root of 9 is 3, which when added by 6 gives us 9. You're really getting this. So that means our last point is 10, 9. We have all our points, we can put them on a graph. And now we're done! Okay, I feel like I get it, but let me run through what we did, just to make sure. So first, we had to find the leftmost point, which meant finding the lowest value of x we could possibly have while still having the value inside the square root symbol 0 or greater and then using the x value to find the point with that x value. After that, we find a few more points by choosing x values that will result in a value in the square root symbol that is easy to find the square root for, like having the x value result in the number 9 in the square root symbol. And finally, you graph all the points you found, and you're done. You seem to have a pretty firm grasp on the topic of graphing a square root function, problem type 2.